the longer we're closed, the more animals are dying. And the more people that are finding those animals and not able to get help from them are suffering too. A nonprofit forced to pack up and move is now back open today, helping sick and injured wildlife get rehabilitated. But as new specialist Mike Anderson explains here, it could still be several years before they get up to speed here with the kind of work that uh, they were doing in the first place. Right, Mike? This uh, new space has only been a third the size of what they used to have, and it's not built to house animals, and it's why they look at this as more of a temporary space uh, before they can build their new permanent home. To help an injured owl or maybe a bat someone found in the local Walmart parking lot. I knew this is where I belonged, and this is where I can make a difference. Dylan Marthaler says she's known it to be her calling in life for decades. This was my life day in and day out, seven days a week, 365 days a year, and I was happy doing it. So to be out of it for about a year and a half was tough, not only for Marthaler and her husband Buzz and their staff, but for the animals that needed help and the people who would find them. They're stressing out, trying to get them help. Animals are suffering, and it's just not okay. But while they're back now. Well, we're gonna be uh, limited. We aren't, won't be taking in waterfowl unless we know it's a real quick turn, something reason that we could get it out within a couple days. The Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Northern Utah won't have the kind of space or facilities they used to. As you may recall, they had to move out about a year and a half ago to make room for an expansion of Ogden's Dinosaur Park next door. We were doing 4,000 animals a year and the facility was three times the size of this facility and was specifically built for animals. It's why they're calling these two old houses a temporary space with the dream of building what they really need just up the street here in Harrisville. The new facility will be state of the art. It's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be huge, and it's gonna be designed to do specifically wild animals. And so we'll be able to do even more than we could before. And the, uh, they'll need a lot of donations, really, to make this happen uh, and public support for that new facility. Buzz Marthaler says they'll have uh, a design for what they plan to build up on their website in their near future, and we'll have uh, a link up to where you can find that information on ksltv.com. Back to you. Yeah, a lot of folks appreciate the work they're doing, especially those animals. All right, thank you, Mike.